Well, hello there. Good to see ya. Welcome to another fun, spectacular, glorious New York City vlog. It was not supposed to rain today. I'm about to go for an easy five mile run. That's literally what my training plan says. An easy five miles. <laughs> Define easy. My AirPods are dead and I'm hungry. I'm gonna have to go outside back in that storm. It's fine. I'm gonna try and go to bed early, but I probably won't. We're 13 weeks out from the marathon, guys. 13 weeks. That's not a lot. Like, oh my God, it's mid-August. When did that happen? That was a good waffle. I didn't even like fully put my shirt on this morning. I'm supposed to tie these all day like this. <laughs> If you're new here, hi, my name's Chelsea. I am just your average 30-something living alone in New York City who likes to make fun, cute little videos showcasing the most realistic parts of my life in case someone else out there can relate to any of it. To get you up to speed, I'm currently training for the New York Marathon, working a full-time job, doing the YouTube, all while trying to keep some time for myself and still maybe have a social life. Shout out to my friends who consistently invite me to things even though they know I'm going to say no. Every week seems to be getting more difficult in balancing everything. I'm really in the thick of it right now, but I have to remind myself that it won't last forever and to try to enjoy it. This might be the last thing I want to do right now. I'm not sure though. So I think we're just going to not think about it. We're just going to keep going. I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to leave and we're going to run. It's so dark. You can't hear me. Or you can't see me. It's so dark you can't hear me. We crushed it. I feel like I could keep going and I think that's a good thing for easy runs. So sticking with that energy here. Wildlife report. Almost tripped on a squirrel crossing this, the street. I saw one baby rat and three brother and sister rats crawl upon a garbage can. I experienced some really rancid body odor that was not mine. Oh, oh my God. And there were fireflies, lightning bugs everywhere. I tell you, I haven't seen a single lightning bug in New York or on the East Coast in years. I should probably be more present as I'm walking these streets at night, so I'll see you when I'm home. I'll admit that this protein is getting a little old. Not like actually old, but I need new flavors, I think. Yeah, I need to switch it up. I need some variety. All bunches at the top and mix this paste. It's just not pleasant going down. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. Oh, oh, this feels amazing. I smell so bad, I cannot wait to get in the shower. <laughs> I do not know where this summer has gone. This has been the fastest summer of my life. Is anyone else feeling that way too? I haven't taken the time to enjoy it pretty much at all. I'm basically already thinking about next summer and how fun it's going to be then before this one is even over yet because because I knew it was gonna be like this, even from a year ago when I was working to qualify for the marathon for this year. These runs are just getting so much longer so quick. My running plan is like a casual eight to nine miles on a Tuesday, which takes me literal hours. So it's made it more challenging for me to find time to stay on top of editing. But it's my favorite part of YouTube and it's just, I can't give that up. We're late, so we gotta go. Come on, you too, we're going. But you know that feeling when you're just so deep into a project that you can't see the bigger picture, but you know it's gonna pay off and all you can do is just blindly trust that? It's been feeling like the universe has just dumped a thousand things into my lap, but there's gotta be a lesson here. And I'm sure that all this is only happening because the universe knows I can handle it. I just have to believe that I can handle it. Anyways, this day in particular at work was brutal. I was blabbering earlier, so I didn't point out that I ended up missing my train to work, so I was a couple minutes late. 
flight and most everyone at the office was in a bad mood and it just made me wish I was home, honestly. My break at work is sacred and I religiously take them. From 12 to one, I am not reachable unless it's a super busy day and I just like have to work through it for some reason. So if it's nice out, I usually try to sit outside, try to breathe and reset a little and maybe text my friends back. Now that I think of it, it might be the only hour of the day that I'm not either sleeping, working or running. So it's way more sacred than I initially thought. Guess what we're about to do? We're about to go for another run. If it's starting to feel repetitive to you, it's cause it is, <laughs> that's how it feels. Just another day. How many weeks left we got? 12, 12. I was wrong before, it's not 13, it's 12. Well, the best thing I can do is to not think too much about it and just to get ready and do it. Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Maybe there'll be a cute boy at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I said I was gonna learn French on my training runs for the marathon? No. <laughs> no. What was I thinking? Like, no. I don't... No, I need... No. I have no thoughts at all when I'm running. I'm just sort of empty-minded. Almost such that I am bored. We are starting to get abs. A little bit. I joke that I have a two-pack and free samples. <laughs> Anyone else hear that phrase? Let me confirm this. Oh yeah, I got a two pack. I should show you in better lighting. See what I mean? It's at least a two pack. Do abs always have to be plural? Can you just have an ab? I was just thinking about how weird that word is. Abs. <laughs> to tell you that there was a cutie at my gym today actually there is usually always someone cute at the gym but this one decided to stand or use the treadmill right next to me in an aisle of treadmills and of course if it was anyone else other than someone i thought was mildly attractive it would have been weird and creepy the only issue was that one i wasn't wearing a cute gym outfit the second thing is i this is how i express when i'm attracted to somebody this is what i look like when i'm running and i think someone's cute running next to me yeah that's my that's my flirting skills <laughs> I'm so happy, it's the weekend. My boss threw a project on me at 5.30 today on a Friday. I'm not working on the weekend, so we'll see how, we'll see how far we go with that. My life has been so busy that literally the only thing keeping me sane right now is the sponsor of today's video, Factor. If you're sitting there wondering, what is Factor? What is she talking about? Please allow me to enlighten you. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. All you have to do is stick them in your fridge and close the door until you're hungry of course which is me right now with factor you can skip the extra trips to the grocery store all the time it takes to food prep and clean after oh my god while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality that your body needs just the fact that dinner can be done in two minutes there are no words Ooh. Hot. Whether you're vegetarian or you need extra protein or want to let Factor's gourmet chefs choose your meals each week, the only steps you got to take are to heat it up and enjoy. I've also tried their cold pressed juices and smoothies for an extra wellness boost and they are delicious, y'all. Personally, I've been eating Factor meals for a while now and I have seen a night and day difference in my energy and performance levels from what training was like for my half marathon earlier this year until now. Having the choice of 34 plus meals to choose from each week that I know are going to give me the 
fuel my body needs to keep me going through training not only takes the hassle out of cooking but a huge hassle out of my life in general we cleaned it you can enjoy factor meals too all you have to do is head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code chelcal50 to get 50 percent off your first factor box yes you heard that right head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code chelcal50 to get 50 percent off your first factor box thank you so much to factor for sponsoring today's video Mwah. okay let's go to bed now So basically, while the AC is interrupting us, a new song released today from Fred again, who is becoming one of my favorite artists. It's called Adore You. It's actually incredible. Anyways, mama's ready for bed. I'm gonna unwind. I'll see you tomorrow for Saturday. No idea what this hair is, hold on. No idea what this hair is looking like. Cute now? I woke up, just kept going back to sleep. I'm still tired, I could still sleep. And it's 11.45 in the morning. And I'm not gonna give myself a hard time about needing to freaking chill and rest. I'm having my coffee in bed this morning. I'm gonna watch some videos while I drink my coffee. This is what I would do if I wasn't vlogging too. The bed hits too hard right now. I can go to this, I'll be there. I have so many new followers that I just wanted to say hey. Big and creamy sweet potato. You can manage your money yourself. You don't need a finance. Hi, I'm Renee. Two years ago, I bought. <laughs> As you can see, the hair needs work. you may know that I'm going to be moving soon to another neighborhood. More updates to come on that soon, I promise. But I have to admit that when I first made the video announcing that I was moving, I didn't know if that meant moving to another apartment here or moving to another state or country, honestly. I had reached a completely blank slate again in my life and was feeling really resentful about it. And it took me about two months to figure out what I wanted my next steps to be because I knew something had to change, but I didn't really know what. You can't see it, but the ground is kind of wet because it just rained. <clears throat> Sorry, this is spicy. <clears throat> so I put the paper grocery bag on the ground to sit on, but all my groceries are all over the ground. It's, we're in Central Park right now, by the way. <clears throat> I would never make it on hot ones. <clears throat> I was just craving chips and salsa though. <sighs> it's so spicy, making my teeth hurt. Oh my God. But slowly each day, I started to make smaller, more logical decisions instead of acting on more impulsive gut feelings, which I normally do based out of just how I'm feeling emotionally. And opportunities really started coming in that started to feel actually aligned with my goals. And I started to trust the decisions I was making. And eventually I landed here, really excited to almost start my new chapter in the city. I guess if you're feeling kind of lost, just know that there's hope and really just focus on the baby steps. I've never seen pasta shaped like this. This was an accident. I thought I bought macaroni. Weird, right? If you can see this far, it's almost 10 o'clock. Somehow I've made it a habit that it's a good time to eat dinner at 10 o'clock. Even on my day off, I don't know. I had to make a bunch of carbs because tomorrow morning I have another early morning run. Tomorrow's eight miles. Actually, I should probably be hydrating more also. Riveting content. If you haven't had enough water today, you know it. You probably feel kind of poopy. Well, cheers. shells. Mm -hmm. The sauce is pretty good. It's the first one I haven't had to need. I haven't had to need to. It's the first one I haven't had to have to 
add salt. <laughs> Did that come out right? What should I turn on TV? No, let's watch something. Let's wind down. Watch some television. Actually, I kind of want to watch YouTube. I was watching earlier how Casey Neistat vlogs. I haven't watched Casey Neistat really at all. And then I just recently started getting into him. Wow, he's so good. I found the genre fascinating. I was obsessed with trying to pluck the interestingness out of our lives, share that interestingness as tiny little stories, strung those stories together and call that a TV show episode. Set up, conflict, resolution. Never an obligation to share with you the intimacies of every day of my life. This isn't a journal, but instead, could I find every day in my life a three-act narrative to share? I'm about to take my electrolytes before I go to bed. This has magnesium in it, so it helps me sleep very deeply. So I'll be ready for tomorrow morning. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Liking my video or commenting um, tells the YouTube algorithm that you like the video and that they'll keep pushing it out to amazing people like you. And if you want to, consider subscribing. I feel like I've had way more eloquent outros before. I'm a little sleepy. <sighs> so much coming. Anyways, time for bed. I'll see you in my next video. I love you. Bye.